Hey guys, here today with common problems for the Toyota Prius uh, buyer's guide. I uh, apologize for the uh, jumping video. Um, I guess uh, the display, unfortunately, um, is in motion, although it's, I guess it's uh, out of sync with my camera. So, um, so again, this is a 2015 Gen 3 Prius, and um, I've owned two Gen 3s. My first was a 2013, um, 2013 Prius, and again, I currently own a 2023 Prius Prime. So, one of the things I can tell you, uh, one of the most common problems, and one of the things that you can do to head it off, is to uh, change the oil at every 5,000 miles. And that common problem is the uh, head gasket. There is a known issue with the Gen 3 Priuses where the head gasket would basically fail. And I had that situation on my 2013. After 160,000 miles, all of a sudden the telltale sign was I started noticing my antifreeze was very low on the um, in the overflow and what it was uh, what was happening was uh, it was a slow leak and uh, you know it it basically gave an indication it uh, that the I guess the the check engine or the actually the check engine light didn't even come on I actually had a um, a reader and it gave like two codes uh, one of the codes basically said uh, an overspan in the coolant uh, in the uh, water pump that, that the water pump was overspinning and uh, it actually so we did a check um, actually the water pump was fine it's an electronic water pump I mean at 160,000 you would think that uh, the water pump um, would definitely uh, could definitely go uh, but it wasn't the water pump it turned out uh, it was a very slow uh, it was, I think it was in cylinder three where the, um, it was starting to, uh, it was starting to lose antifreeze. Um, the car was still running and it was still functioning. So, uh, but I, I, what my, my, um, the telltale sign was not only the uh, low antifreeze, but actually what really tripped it off was the engine light came on. I'm sorry, not the engine light, the temperature light came on. And that's when... You know, obviously, when you see the temperature light come on, uh, you know, uh, immediately, um, I was able to, uh, thank God, like, actually, it, when it came on, it actually ended up um, tripping back off. But, you know, when I checked, that's when I uh, did a scan on the car, and I also noticed that the antifreeze was, uh, the, the overflow was uh, running low. So what I ended up doing is, uh, at that point, of course, I put antifreeze in, and a week or two later, same thing, it was starting to run low. Uh, it took a while. It was a very slow leak. And again, the check engine light never came on during this time. So that I would say, um, by and large, is one of the main things. The other thing is the multifunction display. Um, the, in my old Prius in the 2013, this would start to turn yellow. Uh, it had like this inverse look uh, to it. And it was like this orange yellow thing. And then it would click. It would switch back on its own. And, you know, you would go to use the backup camera. It looked like you were looking at it through the eyes of Predator. It had like this weird 3D uh, hazing effect. Um, on the 2015 here, I don't see that. Obviously, it's a normal blue and white. So I was able to, um, I tried doing like a reset and um, it would like come and go on the 2013. It would just have this weird hazy orange. And I, and again, I think the MFD was about to go. Um, funny enough, it uh, it wasn't the battery. It had nothing to do with it. Again, I've read that basically over time, you know, the display will eventually fail. Um, but luckily, I was able to um, trade in the car. It was working at the time I did trade in um, the 2013 Prius. And, uh, you know, I actually got a reasonable trade considering that the car was still running, you know, even though it had the uh, head gasket issue. Um, so I would say if you're buying... A higher mileage uh, Prius. Uh, those are things to consider. Uh, make sure that the you change the oil every 5,000 miles. Toyota recommends 10,000. I would strongly recommend, and I think I've heard from other people, do not follow that schedule. Do it every 5,000. That's what I've been doing with this car, and I've been really lucky. 
um, the cars. I, I just, I don't recommend uh, waiting the 10,000 miles. Um, it's one thing that I did with the other Prius and I wish if I had it over to do again, I would have done it every 5,000, not 10,000. Um, you know, even though uh, the, and also I was doing a lot of highway driving, um, later on, the car was more of a station car, so it was doing less driving, so the oil changes weren't as frequent. I would say even so, if you're waiting over six months, even if you're not at the 5,000 mile, my other recommendation would be, you know what, change the oil. Don't wait. Anyway, um, by and large, the Toyota Prius, the Gen 3, I am very happy uh, with the car. It's it's been an awesome car. This one is almost at 170,000 miles, as you guys can see. Um, it's done very well. The uh, it is actually really spacious in the back. I have plenty of headroom. I have plenty of trunk space. Um, it is not as pretty or as uh, stylish as the 2023 Toyota Prius Prime, but it's an awesome car. So um, honestly, I would say the the problems that you would have with the car are are basically few and far between. And I would say the main thing is just make sure you change your oil more frequently, and uh, you know bring it in. And again, brakes and brakes. I think I did brakes at 120,000, which you know I was doing a lot of highway driving. Um, I did tires probably like every 70, 80,000 and, uh, just, you know, routine oil changes. It's a very low maintenance car, uh, and a very reliable car. So honestly, it's a great car. I, I can't say, uh, enough good things about it, but I would say, um, I believe in 2014, they or I think it was uh, 2014 or 2015, they actually did make the head gasket a little bit thicker. So I think on the 2015, it is slightly thicker, so it's a little bit more resilient. But it was a known issue uh, with the 2012 and 2013 uh, that the head gasket uh, could eventually fail. Uh, so anyway, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe.